back. According to the Federal Reserve, cash is still king in the United States. But what if it didn't have to be that way? Earlier, I spoke to Duke University finance professor Campbell Harvey about why he thinks the U.S. should scrap its cold hard paper currency and migrate the entire system to blockchain. There are many countries that are interested in this technology because they see that it solves a number of problems. Uh, indeed, uh, one of the low-hanging fruits is to redo um, currency in general. So why is it just Bitcoin? Why can't the U.S. dollar uh, be a cryptocurrency? So it, it, it solves so many issues. So there's no counterfeiting. Um, there's no evasion of taxes by paying paper cash. So, so most central banks are investigating this technology uh, to essentially um, realize that in the future it doesn't make any sense that we're using paper for currency. It doesn't make any sense that we have a paper passport in the future. It doesn't make any sense we have a driver's license as we know it. It's not hard to forecast this, and the way to make it happen is with blockchain technology. So within many different uh, countries, many different departments within governments are independently pursuing this technology. It solves so many problems. But that is an incredible suggestion. I mean, you're so confident in the accuracy and verifiability of cryptocurrencies and the blockchain technology that you think the U.S. economy should or could be based on an American cryptocurrency? So, to me, it's inevitable um, because it doesn't make any sense in the future that we're going to be trading pieces of paper. Uh, people will look back uh, th at this as just a historical episode. We went from kind of coinage and gold and silver to paper for a while, and then it'll go electronic. We're seeing this in other areas, uh, whether it's broadcasting, which is now entirely digital, uh, books, newspapers. It's obvious we're going in this direction, and this is a way to do it. You can't just have a digital dollar. That's a bad idea because you can make an exact replica of it, just like you make a replica of a song or a video or a book. So you need this technology that takes the serial number on the currency seriously, and it prevents people from counterfeiting, and it's got a record of everything you can't spend more than you actually have. So blockchain is the solution to the digital currency, and people have been talking about digital currency for 30 years, and every single initiative has failed until people realize that blockchain can solve the problems. And that's an important distinction there. You're not advocating for a digital dollar per se, but you do think the U.S. government could and should base a currency on blockchain technology? Uh, well, I believe that um, we will have digital currencies in the future. Indeed, some countries uh, like Sweden, less than 2% of their transactions are done in cash. So we're already moving towards a digital uh, sort of uh, currency. Blockchain makes that happen, and there's just no reason that you can't have uh, a Fed coin or a can coin, or different countries having their own um, crypto blockchain-based currency. I see that as inevitable. So if what you're saying is true, and it is kind of an exciting future to envision and imagine, how soon might this be a reality? So different countries are going to move at different speeds, and it's not going to be next year. But for countries like Sweden, that less than 2% of the transactions are in cash, it's actually no big deal to lose the cash. So um, I think some of the um, smaller and medium-sized countries will go first uh, with this. And I think that uh, eventually um, everybody uh, will be crypto national currency based. And indeed, I believe the biggest threat to currencies like Bitcoin our central bank backed uh, cryptocurrencies like Fedcoin. What kind of reaction do you get from most people, the layman, when you make such a prediction? Well, people say, well, it's not going to happen. We really like our cash. Um, and, and I get that. Um, and there is a resistance, a conservatism 
uh, we like kind of what we have. But it is, as I said, inevitable. The cash can be reproduced and counterfeited. The cash wears out, has to be redone. Um, given the world that we're headed towards digitally, it just doesn't, doesn't make a lot of sense that we're going to be using paper. So I really believe that uh, the children born today, they're never going to have paper currency. They're never going to have a traditional bank account. Their bank is going to be in their equivalent uh, to the future smartphone. That's no, it's going to be in their hand or in their forehead. Okay. So lock you. Okay. Praise on and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakaq Kodash. I want to give double honors to the other apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the GMS, the men that rule well over the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans and Hispanics, okay, so-called, and the brothers and sisters that are scattered throughout the other nations that the scriptures describe as being the confusion of face because they look like the other nations, okay? But they are Israelites, and I want to say peace and blessings to the elect, okay? I, I came across this... uh news article and um just wanted to put it out there because this is just bringing us one one step closer to that uh microchip being fully implemented okay this guy is a professor at duke university okay this is a prestigious school okay um and you listen to the things that he's saying, the, the little keywords that he's throwing out there. I don't understand why we have paper this, paper that, paper this. Okay. And then he he has the he goes into saying another keyword, which is conservative, being conservative. You know, you're gonna have a conservative people, you know, that'll be against this, okay? Because the United States has moved into a liberal state. OK. Oh, everybody's free. Everybody's free thinking, you know, you can do what you want, blah, blah, blah. You know, so you got to throw that conservative in there to get especially these young, these young drones aboard. OK, that just want to, you know, do whatever the hell they want to do, you know. But um, of course, I'm going to bring out the scripture. This is Revelation 13 and. Um, 16 it says and he calls it all both small and great rich and poor free and bond okay to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads and that no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark okay and that's what this is this is this is the conditioning and getting you ready for that chip man and then you know I went through the comments. Okay, say say you do want to loan somebody $20. They're going to want to know. Every little transaction you make, they're going to want to know. They want to know about it. No more tax evasions. That's going to help the economy. They're going to give you all the perks or, or the, the, the things that's going to sell this on the people. Well, it'll help us get out of debt, you know, because we're doing so bad. Uh, you know, now we'll have track of every transaction with money okay it'll get rid of drug dealers because now we'll know okay you ain't gonna just go buy no drugs you know we're gonna have track on every transaction that you make full control man and that no man might buy or sell buy or sell okay save he that had the mark okay that word mark goes back to the greek word karagma which means to stamp or carving, to cut, to insert, okay? And they're going to put that chip in you, man, okay? So I just wanted to share this news article, just showing that we're one step closer to the mark of the beast, which is the microchip being fully implemented, okay? And um, 
you can go back and, and watch the full uh, video. It's on. It's from uh, CBS News. Okay, I think it came out like yesterday or day before yesterday. But you can go and, and watch it for yourself. And you see, you got people that's resisting, not wanting to go this route. And okay, then just think about this too. What about people that do like day labor jobs? You know, the government wants full control. The so-called white man Esau. Okay, Edom, the Edomites, okay, the elites of the, the nation of, uh, of Edom want full control. They want to know where you are, what you're doing at all time because this man wants to, to be as the, the most high man. He wants to be omnipotent. He wants to be all seeing, all knowing. And right now it's just too much stuff going un, un, um, unsupervised for lack of better words, okay? So, don't take the mark of the beast. It's the microchip, contrary to what many say, even even in the nation of Israel, okay? It's the mark, the mark of the beast is the microchip, man. Okay, plain and simple. If you can't get that, you're doomed, okay? And if you're teaching people that it's not, then they blood is on your hands, Okay, you doomed and they doomed and you required, you, 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 they blood is on your hands, man. Okay, it's simple. The mark of the beast, the microchip, man. Okay, and like I said, this article just shows how, how much closer we are to this thing being fully implemented, man. Okay, he's telling you, he's saying in the video, we're going to look back on this, well, for a brief second, because it's not going to, once that mark of the beast hit, man, it's it's over, okay? And he's talking about, yeah, but that's why the scriptures say, why did the heathen uh, imagine a vain thing, okay? Because y'all think this is going to go on and on and on. It's not, man. In the sufficiency, when he is about to fill his belly, when, when this chip is implemented, the most high going to pull the rug, man, Okay? So, like I said, man, it's just a quick lesson just to, you know, just share this news with brothers and sisters, okay? Um, and uh, you can go watch it for yourself, like I said. You know, hopefully brothers do. Uh, but it's just showing that we want close, one step closer to, to this chip being fully implemented. You know, and Lord willing, as always, you know, there was edification in this. Some good, you know, some some good material to use. When uh, doing lessons or out on the block, okay? Um, so with that, again, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakal Kodash. I'm going to give double honors to the other apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, the men of GMS that rule well over the nation of Israel, okay? Which consists of you so-called Negroes, you so-called Latinos, you so-called Hispanics and you so-called Native Americans and the brothers and sisters that look like the other nations because we've been scattered abroad, okay? But they have the they have the spirit of an Israelite inside of that foreign body, okay? For lack of better words, okay? And um, I want to say peace and blessings to the elect, okay? And until the next time, I say Shalom.